Wow, guys, crypto is dumping. Don't worry, I didn't forget about you. I'm still out here in Texas looking for a place to stay, but on a day like this, I just couldn't not make a video. Bitcoin is currently sitting at about $60,300 at the time of recording, and we did have a dip down here to about $59,000, bouncing off of pretty much the 200-day moving average. This is the moment of truth, though. Like I said, I would be worried if we started to close any days really below that $60,000 range because that is the production price for Bitcoin right now. It's not looking good with this 20-day moving average breaking down below the 50-day moving average, but as long as we don't start closing below the 200-day moving average, then we are still in a technical bull market. The reason why I think things might be dipping is maybe because the Democrats actually think that Trump is pro-crypto, so they're all trying to sell out. And we did have the Winklevoss twins giving $2 million to the Trump campaign, and of course the Democrats aren't going to like that, so they're probably going to be selling off a little bit. But maybe they're going to be turning things around because apparently Biden is expected to flip ahead of the Trump debate. And if that does happen, then of course we're going to be seeing a turnaround in the sentiment here. And hopefully it's going to have us bounce right here at about $60,000. Also, if we do bounce right here, then we're going to be making a higher low, which is still what we're going to be looking for for this uptrend to continue. But if we make a lower low here and actually start closing any daily candles down below about $59,000, then unfortunately it looks like we might have a lot more downward pressure to go and we could go down to the low 50s or maybe even the high 40s. In case of a bounce here, we are going to have that higher low and a possible bullish divergence here on the RSI and that is going to be a really good indicator that we might actually be here at the bottom. But a lot of people are thinking that we're going down to the $50,000 range and as I said in the beginning of this video, this is basically the moment of truth. Another reason why we might be seeing this dip right now is because there is the Mt. Gox payments that are coming up pretty soon. And that who lost a whole bunch of Bitcoin are going to be getting their Bitcoin back here in the next couple of weeks. And that gives them the opportunity to sell and they're probably going to be in a massive profit. So if we do start to see them selling, then we could definitely go lower. But it looks like we're actually front running that idea. And maybe whenever we actually start to see the repayments coming through, the selling pressure will actually already be over and we can continue back to the upside. Like I said in my last video, there's not really any bad news. I don't really see why we're actually going down other than the fact that we have been going down and that's just causing people a lot of distress. In my opinion, the real reason why we're actually probably selling off is just because we got so overhyped due to the ETFs being approved and everybody just thought that we were going to be going parabolic through the end of the year. As I was saying though, we were probably going to top out close to the end of the year and maybe even around the election. But with this cool off happening right now, if we do continue to the upside, then it looks like this bull market actually might continue into next year. And if Trump is reelected with him being pro cryptocurrency, that could be a boon and actually send us skyrocketing through the whole entirety of next year. If Biden doesn't actually change his stance though, then we could continue to see some more selling pressure in the market. And the continuation of the bull market could actually depend on who does get elected. Because if Biden is re-elected, then the continuation of the attacks against cryptocurrency could definitely send us down lower. But if we have a president that is pro-cryptocurrency, then hopefully we're going to be seeing all kinds of news coming out that's going to send us higher. I know this video is really short, but like I said, there's really not all that much news. We're just going down because we're going down, really. And the downward pressure seems to be what's actually causing the downward pressure because people are panic selling and for some reason thinking that the bull market is over. But as long as we don't break down below that production cost, then we're still in a very good situation. But if we do break down below that, it's going to be unprecedented and I'm just going to be getting ready for some lower price action. I know this isn't what a lot of people want to hear and hopefully we are going to be bouncing here at about $60,000. But as I said, it is the moment of truth. And this is really crucial because we have never actually stayed below the production cost for Bitcoin for any time that was significant. And if we do, then I would say that really no one knows what to expect and the miners are probably going to have to start selling just so that they can be profitable. It's no, and as long as Bitcoin doesn't actually start closing those days below this $60,000 range and we do bounce off of this 200 day moving average, then we are still technically in a bull market but breaking down below the 200 day moving average will put us in a technical bear market. That doesn't necessarily mean completely over for this cycle. And we did go below the 200 day moving average in the dip that we saw in the middle of the bull market last time. But whenever people started to think that it was over, that was actually when we bounced and made a new all time high. 
It wasn't very significant though, and we didn't make it back into price discovery. But with this being an election year, I really don't think that this cycle is over. And in my opinion, we are probably going to see a continuation of the injection of liquidity into the system which is going to be a boon for cryptocurrency and other risk assets. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are we going to bounce here at about $60,000 or are we headed down below the 200 day moving average and to the low $50,000 range? And I will keep you guys updated as much as I can. But as I said, I'm really busy right now trying to look for a place in Texas because if you can't tell by the saggingness of my roof here, I am still poor and I'm trying to find some lower rent. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if I brought you value. But most importantly, don't forget to do only good every day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.